9-9 from her first fault. And serving notice to Shannon Miller, Dominique with her first event, putting the pressure on the leader. Come on, Jenny. Aggressive on the stumbling pass now. Clean form. Steve Nuno, the coach of Jenny Thompson and also of Shannon Miller, instructing his seventh grader on her first event, the floor exercise. Set it up. All right, Jen, let's get it. Peggy Littick, also one of the coaches at Dynamo Gymnastics. And Peggy and Steve say that this girl is the best they've ever seen. Now, the one event where the lack of maturity and a bigger body is a deficit as opposed to an advantage is floor exercise. She needs to really be expressive in this routine, and it's a little bit more difficult for her here on the floor. the look of confidence on this 13 year old well she certainly is confident there's no doubt about that but you know she really doesn't look all that comfortable when she's out on the floor dancing however when she's tumbling she looks fantastic but you know you have to remember jenny she took a big risk not only with this tumbling pass three complete twists but also she decided to move up into the senior division where many of her contemporaries stay junior this year big risk but it looks like it's going to pay off Jenny Thompson, who lives with her mother in Oklahoma City, originally from Wichita Falls, Texas, 9.55 on her floor exercise. Now here's Amanda Borden of Cincinnati, ready to have her first rotation. This will be on the balance beam. Amanda will be a senior at Finneytown High School, starting classes next week. And she has a very difficult mount. She'll do a running front somersault onto the beam, very tricky. She fell on this event last year at the national championships. No problem there. Concentration is so important on the balance beam. This is her first major tumbling pass. Two back handsprings to a two-foot layout. Very tricky. Just a little bit of a balance check there. Amanda took the time while she was in Nashville to visit some sick children at the hospital and is known for that radiant smile. You'll see it before the night's over. She wants to be smiling after this running somersault right here. Now this is about the best I've seen Amanda look on balance beam in a major competition. She looks very focused, very calm. Coach Mary Lee Tracy 
she's right. It was a great routine, but you got to put your feet on the ground at the end, Tom, and you can't let them move. Here's the dismount here. Double back somersault. She just has too much rotation. Pulls a little bit too hard. And her center of gravity is behind her feet. And she has to take those three big steps back. 9.525 on the beam for Amanda Borden. And it has to be at least a psychological hurdle cleared. Certainly. She remains in third place. Shannon Miller still the leader with Dominique Dawes closing in after one rotation. So Dominique Dawes has narrowed the gap. You know, Tim, Shannon Miller was unbeatable after the 92 Olympics. She won every meet she was in until recently. She took the silver at the Goodwill Games. So the question is, are we seeing a beatable Shannon Miller now? Well, Tom, I certainly think that it's possible to beat Shannon Miller. And she showed us that on the first event, the uneven bars. Nice routine, but she had a rough dismount. Really had to kind of scrounge it around, took a bit of a step. Opened that door just a little bit for Dominique Dawes. And on her first event, Dawes had a fantastic ball, scored a 9-9. We've got a pretty good race here. Yeah, three rotations to go in that race. What will be the key point? I think the key in women's gymnastics most often comes down to the balance beam, but both of these athletes are fantastic there. you got to remember, four inches wide, and anything can happen. So we'll see Shannon Miller on the beam when we return to Nashville. Let's do it. Right down the middle. Keep your eyes on the beam. Okay, posture. Welcome back to Nashville and the U.S. Gymnastics Championships. Shannon Miller is the leader in the competition for the U.S. All-Around Championship, ready for her routine on the balance beam. And in the compulsories earlier this week, she nearly fell. Really struggles for that landing. Same mount we saw from Amanda Borden. That music you hear blaring in the background indicating that there are four events in progress simultaneously here in the arena. And will get ready now for her first major tumbling run. Back handspring to two layout step outs. Right on. Shannon will be a senior at North Edmond, Oklahoma High School. She's already missed the first week of classes, but it shouldn't be a problem. She's a straight-A student. If you're wondering, the high school does exempt her from PE classes. <laughs> I guess her seven hours a day probably qualifies. Shannon's been doing this dismount as long as anyone. Very difficult. Full twisting double. Oh. <laughs> that is a huge mistake. Those hands go down at least a three-tenths of a deduction. Remember I said that the beam is probably the place where we can see some mistakes, and that just opens the door even wider for Dominique Dawes. Shannon Miller, almost in tears, knows that her lead is in jeopardy right now. Tom, she touched the ground there, and it's like her hands shot up in the air. It was like, I can't believe I put my hands down. Started off just a little bit rough, but she was able to hold on to this one. Watch, she should just spring right up there, but look at the fight. Don't give up, don't give up. And she hangs on. But here's where it went wrong. Full twisting double somersault. Not quite enough rotation. Look at her hands. They touch the ground and pulls them back. It's like they were touching fire there. Big mistake. Ready? 9.40, Shannon Miller may have seen her national championship just go down the drain. I don't know the last time Shannon Miller...